in your conclusion, this is where you now need to tie it all together. So we need to go back to our investigation question and tie that in. We need to answer, do the analysis and tie that together, summarise that, um, and so on. So there are the components that we need in our conclusion. Uh, we need to be able to make the call. And this is looking at how much overlap there is and have I got enough evidence? Are the medians far enough apart for me to have enough evidence to say that they're different? I need to answer my investigation question. I need to make an inference, um, and I'll talk more about that in a bit, and we need to discuss what sampling variability is. Okay, so let's start with making the call. So this is a piece of information straight from the curriculum um, document, and what it talks about is, if I've got two graphs, the A and B, and if there is no overlap of the boxes at all, and you can see here I've just put this red box there, I'll just go back and show you, see, when I look at that, those two boxes have no overlap at all, there's, a, there's space between the two boxes. So if you've got that case, absolutely you can make the call that B, group B tends to be bigger than group A back in our population. So that's what we can definitely do if there's space between them. But what happens when they're a bit closer together? So this is when we're looking at the median and we're saying if the median of one of the samples, and I've just drawn on there the median for A, if the median of that lies outside the box of the other sample. So now I'm going to draw a red box around group B and you can see here that the median for A doesn't cut through that box, so it means it lies outside of that box. Then I can make then I can make the call for that and I can say that B tends to be bigger than A back in our population. So let's have a look at this example here. So we've got our bag weights of our males and females. First thing I'm going to do is find the median of one of the groups and see does it lie inside the box of the other group. So here is the median of the female group that I've put on and now here is the box of the male. Does that median lie inside or outside the box? And I would say that it lies inside because it cuts through the box. Okay, so that lies inside. Now let's double check with the other median. So that was using the median of the female. Now let's do the same thing for the other median. So here's my median of the males and there's the box of the females. Does that lie inside or outside the box? And in this case, it also lies inside the box. So it, what it means is that if either of them were outside the box, then we can make the call. But in our case, both, neither of them lies outside the box. They both lie inside each other's boxes, which means we cannot make the call. So <coughs> I'm, I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna say I cannot make the call because my median of the male bag weight lies inside the box of the female and the median of the females lies inside the box of the males. So here I'm giving the justification which is our merit, the because is our merit. So we cannot make the call for this. So now I'm going to use that to my answer my investigation question. So this is what the investigation question would have been. I wonder if male students tend to have heavier bags than females do for students at census at school, NZ. So the, uh, how do I answer this question? This is when I look and say, can I make the call? If I can make the call, I have enough evidence. If I can't make the call, I do not have enough evidence. It tells me the medians are too close together and they could be the same. So that's what I'm gonna say is I'm in my sample, I don't have enough evidence that the male students tend to have heavier school bags than females. And you notice I've used the similar, word, very, very similar wording as the investigation question itself. I've just added on this bit at the start, which is saying I don't have enough evidence. Okay. Then I need to go on and make an inference. And now we've got to think, well, I took, I was interested in the population and I've got a sample of data and I found some results about my sample, and now I've got to say, well, what does that tell me about the population that I'm interested in? So because I've got a random sample, it means our data is going to be representative of all school students in New Zealand. So that means I can apply my conclusion to all of them. So my 
inference will be that boys do not tend to have heavier school bags than girls for all students in New Zealand because I don't have enough evidence I can't make the call so that means I'm going for my sample and that also therefore is going to apply to the population of all students and I'm going to say I infer that boys do not tend to have heavier school bags than girls which is what I might originally have thought and that is an inference I'm making a suggestion about the population based on my sample.